This year's uh, pumpkin patch is, you know, the North Liberty Community Pantry. Uh, this would be our fourth corn maze that we've done. The very first corn maze we did uh, four years ago was kind of a trial, and it was completely done by us. And um, we had no idea what we were doing, but it was a lot of fun to figure it out. We just kind of took Google Maps and drew a, a design in there and then uh, went out and as the corn was starting to grow, just peeking out of the ground, we went out and flagged it. My kids were like my little ducklings behind me as I was following my map. And um, it was just kind of a trial to see if it was something people would be interested in. It was at a point where our pumpkin patch was growing, uh, becoming more than just come out and find a pumpkin in the field, uh, something that people were interested in kind of sticking around for. And so we thought, well, we'll see if people would be interested in doing that. And it was a huge hit. The idea of the pantry came about actually right at the beginning of our season last year. Um, Dean was, uh, we're both part of the um, Betterment Community Group of North Liberty and so we were able to raise enough money to give some money to the pantry last year that was going to go towards their learning garden and while he was there it just kind of hit him he said that you know as he was watching the people coming and going from this facility needing you know some groceries whether it be supplemental stuff or maybe you know since it was the beginning of the season they were looking for clothes for their kids uh, it just kind of hit him that we could help, we could make an impact on that. <laughs> Putting a design in the corn maze and having people come out and go through it is, is one thing, but to try and make uh, it, it benefit other people as well as our own business was really has always been very important to us. So a uh, couple different ways. We're going to be a facility where we can gather uh, uh, non-perishable food items and clothing as well. Uh, so as people are going through their closets and stuff and they're getting ready for their winter things, we're going to invite them to bring it out here or of course the pantry just so that we can get it to them. Uh, and then the other thing is uh, a portion of our proceeds for every full paid price admission for the corn maze during the daytime hours um, will go towards uh, a general amount that we're going to give. So 50 cents for every full paid admission we'll give. And we have a goal of about $2,000 and we really hope um, that we can well surpass that and, and give them a lot more so it can go towards you know other programs that they're beginning or things maybe that they want to do that they haven't been able to do in the future um, or just continue to, to get the things that people need. This community is very important to us in, in a lot of ways. Um, the Colony family has been here for many years and farming is has been the backbone of the colony family and so that's kind of where our our pumpkin patch came from you know getting people back out to the dirt and picking stuff and seeing where food grow you know comes from where their decorations come from things like that and that has grown into what can we do for the community even more uh, we started uh, partnering to create a, a fall festival that's the first weekend of October of a year and we started out by inviting just different companies and businesses to come have an, another location that they can be featured at. Um, and then last year we began a sponsorship program in our corn maze. Uh, and so we go around to local businesses and they sponsor checkpoint signs, kind of like you would in a golf outing, you know, in a golf hole. And so then people will get cards where they can go into the corn maze and search out for those logos and those checkpoints but then the idea is to be able to take that card and go back to those businesses so we want you know it to be supported back and forth you know those businesses to help promote us and and to get more people aware that we're here uh, and at the same time we want them to get more business as well you know get more people in their doors